Hello and welcome to Insights from an Autistic. Today's video is called Autistics and Aspies versus NTs, in other words, neurotypicals, people that aren't uh, on the autism spectrum. This video, uh, someone asked me to do this video, and so I'm going to discuss the us versus them mentality for both parties. So some people, you know, feel like that that some NT some people that, that are on the spectrum know when it comes to other people with disabilities it feels like it's you know they feel superior to other people you know and and so there's a friction there you know and I think some people might feel superior to other people but if you think about it you know how I feel is that almost everybody has some sort of disability something that appears to function whether they're aware of or not and so what are some different disabilities? You know, there's autism, there's physical handicaps, there's money. Money can be a disability. If you don't have enough money, you're disabled. You can't function in society properly. Or having too much money might also be disabling in some ways as well. You know, it, you know, people might you know be bickering and trying to get your money all the time, and or you know, it could be overwhelming having all that to manage. Who knows? But you know, so money can be a disability. Lack of knowledge can be a disability. You know, there's the list goes on and on and on. You know, there's there can always be something that that hinders somebody. You know, and uh, redefines the way that they live their life. You know, autism is one way of redefining how someone will live their life, but it isn't the only way. So even those who who might feel superior about somebody, they might have their own deficit in some part of their life. And sometimes the deficit is you know, less obvious than others, and sometimes it might not be obvious at all, and yet it could be a very huge deficit. And so everybody is unique and different. So that's all I really have to say about the NT side of things. Now, sometimes though, some of, uh, some of us on the autism spectrum, sometimes we feel either, you know, less, or sometimes we do feel superior, or we feel like, you know, we need our own identity. We, we are our own race. And and you know this this is we're not human. These these are some other form of humans. You know like like kind of like um, how when you know North America was first colonized and, and Native Americans were called savages. You know they felt like that they were less than something, and they felt superior in some ways. So you know they felt like completely different races. The truth is is that we're all human. We are not a different race, even if. You know we are impaired to some degree especially when it comes you know if we have even though if we suffer a lot of anxiety and we are impaired socially we're still human and and so yes there there does exist people on the autism spectrum who feel like you know you know that 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 separation from other people you know the separation exists very commonly in autism no matter what now, is it healthy to, to feel like, you know, you know, everybody, you know, people like to have their own com camaraderie and, and their own groups to belong to. But, you know, when it starts to feel exclusive and everything like that, then, then issues can arise. And, and just because, you know, we have autism, it doesn't mean that we need to feel diametrically opposed to the other people. You know, we need. There needs to be a middle ground. You know, we have to try to relate to other people if we want to. You know, be a part of that rule. You know, sometimes we don't want to be part of that rule, but sometimes we are living in that rule, and that's uh, something that's taken into account too. And say, you know, someone that doesn't have autism and they want to be a part of a rule. You know, they have to try to reach out to us as well. You know, maybe. Maybe there's like a co-worker, you know, and so it would be nice if they tried to understand us. But ultimately, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't do any good to, to feel, you know, this friction and to feel um, at war with different sides. You know, we're not at war. You know, there's, you know, it isn't us versus them. It's us versus ourselves. The only people that we're ever at war with is of ourselves. All conflicts are internal. All arguments are internal. Usually when an argument occurs, we might be having the same argument over and over again in our head afterwards. 
you know, repeating the certain words or whatever. How we feel about autism, you know, it's a lot of it has to do with what we've read, but also how we allow that to define us. Yes, it does impair us in some ways, but that doesn't mean that we have to allow it to truly impair, you know, to truly impair us. You know, to truly make it so we can't interact with NT people, to make it so we can't have relationships, so we can never get married, so that we live a life of loneliness and depression. Yes, this happens for a lot of people with autism, but it doesn't have to be that way. And so, you know, there, is, there isn't an us versus them. It's, that's, that's baloney. And uh, for those of us who do believe that, you know, it's not, it's not getting, it doesn't get anywhere. It doesn't do any good. All it does is it distances you even more from, from, from everything else. It closes you off. Whenever we have an us versus them, it's always closing people off. And when people are closed off, progress doesn't occur. Both parties are hurt. Both parties. This other party doesn't have access to what you have to offer. You don't have access to what they have to offer. And guess what? You go into a recession. Both sides. And so it hurts everybody, you know, when we have this mentality. So anyway, that's all I have to say for today. I wish everybody an awesome day of awesomeness. Thank you.